Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. So in this session we will see how to draw a graph of a function which is having absolute function as part of it. We have been given that y equal to absolute value of x minus 1 plus absolute value of x minus 2 plus absolute value of x minus 3. So what we will do, first we will try to redefine this function for different values. So what are the values we can understand, how we can divide the total real numbers into different intervals based on these particular values. So what I see is, I see if x is less than 1 then how the function will be. The next is if the function is less than 2 and greater than or equal to 1 or I can say it is between 1 and 2 including 1. The next one will be when the function is between 2 and 3. And the next is when the function is greater than 3. Now let's look at the function given to us, y is equal to whole thing. So now if x is less than 1, we see that all these functions will be become negative. So can I write down in that scenario, it will be nothing but equal to minus of x minus 1 plus minus of or shall I say minus of x minus 2. minus of x minus 3 that will be nothing but equal to x plus x plus x 3x minus 6 minus of so can I simplify that and say that's nothing but equal to 6 minus 3x that tells me immediately that when everything is positive it will be nothing but 3x minus 6 so I can write down that one too that is when x is greater than 3 all these different parts will give me positive values so I can say directly x minus 1 plus x minus 2 plus x minus 3 that's equal to 3x minus 6 so when is x is greater than 3 the function is given by 3x minus 6 when x is less than 1 the function is given by 6 minus 3x now suppose x is between 1 and 2. When x is between 1 and 2, the first part will be positive, the second two will be negative. So I will have x minus 1 minus of x minus 2 minus of x minus 3. We can simplify that x minus 1 I'll write down here x minus 1 x minus 1 minus x plus 2 minus x plus 3 so x and x will cancel then I'll have 3 plus 2 5 5 minus 1 is 4 4 minus x so that will be nothing but equal to 4 minus x I can write down here 4 minus x that is for 1 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 2 and this is for x less than 1. Now let us see for 2 less than or equal to x less than 3. If x value is between 2 and 3, the first 2 will be positive because suppose I take 2, 2, 2.5. 2.5 minus 1 is 1.5. That means this function as it is holds good. 2.5 this is also whole goods but when I go for 2.5 minus 3 this becomes negative so I have to multiply that with uh, so the whole thing we have to understand is like this if you are talking about mod of x minus 1 that will be equal to x minus 1 if x is greater than or equal to 1 or it will be equal to minus of x minus 1 whenever x is less than 1 same case with x minus 2 and x minus 3 so that's how we are trying to solve this now what we discussed based on our discussion 2 less than or equal to x less than 3 the first two will be positive can I write down x minus 1 plus x minus 2 minus of x minus 3 that will be nothing but equal to x 
plus x 2x 2x plus 1 minus x plus 3 that's equal to x plus 4 when 2 less than or equal to x less than 3 that is x minus 1 plus x minus 2 minus of x minus 3 which is nothing but equal to 2x minus 3 minus x plus 3 that's equal to x I'll simplify that earlier we took I took this as plus that's a mistake on my side I'm just fixing it now 2x minus 3 minus x plus 3 minus 3 plus 3 cancels you get x so when x is greater than 3 the function is given by 3x minus 6 now let's calculate the values for some small simple sample values of x let us say x equal to minus 1 afterwards we'll find out the value of y similarly x is 0 x is 1 and x is 2 similarly we'll have minus 2 what is the x value and minus 3 also what is the x value we can find out for 3 also here so we'll try to fill that first we'll take x equal to minus 1 if x equal to minus 1 then it's nothing but equal to 6 minus of 3x that's nothing but 6 minus 3 into minus 1 that's equal to 9 if x equal to 0 then 6 minus 3 into 0 6 if x equal to 1 if x equal to 1 then that is 4 minus 1 3 if x equal to 2 2 then it is 2 x equal to 2 it is 2 if I put x equal to 3 that is again 3 because x greater than or equal to 3 is given by 3x minus 6 3 into 3 9 9 minus 6 is 3 so if it is minus 2 if it is minus 2 we have 6 minus of plus 6 plus 6 that's equal to 12 now we'll take these values and we'll try to plot how it looks like if I put x equal to minus 3 we haven't seen that we have seen x equal to minus 3 so it will be will not take that value we should don't need uh, that value we'll just erase this okay fine so we started from 0 1 2 minus 1 and minus 2 so we got 3 also here 3 is nothing but 3 okay fine so we'll take these values and we'll try to draw the graph remember this is our function is defined so it's very simple we have to just understand how the absolute values go okay let's put the graph now let us say that's it and we have 0 here I have 2 here and 4 here and 6 here so and this is minus 1 and this is 1 2 3 4 5 minus 2 minus 3 that should be okay let's try to plot it now at x equal to 0 x equal to 0 it's 0 comma 6 so this is the point at x equal to 1 it is equal to 3 so that is 3 at x equal to 2 it is equal to 2 so that is 2 at x equal to 3 it is equal to again 3 so that is 3 and at x equal to 4 if you are able to do that should be equal to 6 we can check that 3x minus 6 that is 3 into 4 minus 6 that's nothing but 6 so we have this should be exactly the same so let me just erase this one so let us say it comes here that's a 3 2 and this is 1 
okay then after that we have that point there so we can see that it's a symmetric figure in between 1 2 2 and 2 2 3 it's given by y equal to x and uh, less than 1 it is given by 6 minus 3x and uh, above 3 it is given by 3x minus 6 if you draw actually the figure original figure in the graph will come like this then it will go like this and uh, maybe a little bit like that only you can just check it but the points are correct so that's a graph of the function so only the thing we have to understand is when x minus 1 absolute value plus absolute value of x minus 2 plus absolute value of x minus 3 so what are the different intervals we have 1 2 2 2 2 3 less than 1 and greater than 3 so when x equal to 1 when x equal to 1 so basically these two will be negative and uh, the first one when x equal to 1 so we will have these two negative and the first one is positive when x is greater than 2 then you will have first two positive the third one is negative so you write them accordingly then you can plot the points and we can find out so we have redefined the function that if x is less than 1 y is given by 6 minus 3x if 1 is less than or equal to x less than 2 x less than 2 then y is given by x and 2 less than 2 less than or equal to x less than 3 let me see what is that 1 2 2 1 2 2 okay I'm not 4 minus x it is 1 less than or equal to x less than 2 that's what we got earlier 2 less than or equal to x less than 3 y is given by x you can see that exact 45 degree slope there angle 45 degrees and the slope is 1 there and next x is greater than 3 y is given by 3x minus 6 so we are able to understand that then we have plot the graph so that's one interesting example which I thought of share with you that's how to draw a graph if the function is having absolute value so i'll catch you once again with another interesting example related to function thanks for your time and support bye for now